Redwood Art Walk is basically our local downtown businesses hosting different artists um, and they stay open late. So usually the businesses close at five, but every first Friday they have the opportunity to stay open a little longer, host an artist, and give an opportunity for the artists to interact with the community and the community with the artists. It's also a chance for people to come and check out what the businesses are, because I know if you're not from around here, you kind of get intimidated, you don't really need anything from the shops, why stop in there? So this is an excellent excuse to go in there. Um, also a wonderful chance for people to socialize and get to know each other. So that's what I love about the art walk. We have artists from all different backgrounds, watercolor, paint, jewelry, um, sometimes spoken word. Uh, it all depends on each local business's choice. They get to choose their own artists that they want to host. And thought-provoking stories to ever travel down your optic nerve or into your auditory canal. My name is Stephen J. Affinus and I'm at the ever so wonderful Hudson Gallery in downtown Sylvania for the opening of my one-man show, Evan St. Jasthane's Astounding Sideshow. It is a collection of uh, freaks, I guess, that have been wandering around inside my cranium for a while and I have taken them out through pencil and paint and colored pencils and some coffee too. Ah, but alas, poor Brendo. So there are 12 pieces hanging in the show. This, I thought of this on the way over here today. This is kind of like my Sergeant Pepper. 12 songs, 12 pieces, each of them freaky in their own way. kind of two main objectives and that's to bring the community together and the one thing that the artwork does is it brings people inside shops that maybe they wouldn't typically go into so that's a great way to bring the community together the other thing I love about it is affording more opportunities for local artists there's a lot of what I think are underserved artists in our community there's a lot of artists that are making amazing work um, and need the opportunity to, to get it out in front of people and so by having between, you know, upwards of 20 to 25 venues, you know, where people can come and look at the work. It's, it's just a great opportunity for the artists to, to get their work seen. Uh, we've had theater productions, we've had choirs, we've had musicians, uh, performance yeah. art, you name it. And poetry readings. Poetry readings, and everything. they rise to the moment and, and they bring in so many creative things and they're so talented and they're very grateful, appreciative and they love the happiness, there's joy, there's joy in, in having their work out there for people to see and having their work out there for people to buy. We want our, our whole community to think of Sylvania as the center for the arts um, and so it's, it's done a lot of good you know in that direction. We are veterans, yeah. we're veterans, we come as many we times as we can. We really do. It's Downtown a, Sylvania rocks. Yeah, it's a really nice way to enjoy our community, to get out and support Sylvania, and watch how Sylvania's downtown is really growing and becoming a really special place to be. The Art Walk is the first Friday of every month in Downtown Sylvania in the Redbird Arts District. Um, it goes 12 months a year, rain or shine. Um, we've had great crowds when it's snowing like crazy, and great crowds when it's raining and great crowds when it's sunny. So it's, uh, it's, it's just been a lot of fun. This is the Redbird Arts District. In fact, the city is designating it. Um, there's, you'll see the banners at, at the two intersections and we've got some more signage coming up. So yeah, Come I'm on good. down. Yeah. <laughs>